the only thing I want to do is go win, you know, that's all I can do for me, myself, it'd be a great, great moment and for everyone here I know it's going to be a busy weekend because the weather's good and it, I think everyone's coming to support me so I want to do it for them and do it for myself. Welcome to the Festival of Motocross, the biggest festival event ever in Grand Prix history. We have every single class represented here this weekend from 65 to veteran. I don't think there's any fans that come close to the English fans in the world, you know what I mean? From you know, the passion that they have and just crazy. You know, I've been to football matches, I've been to cricket matches and you're talking Barmy Army and they're mad football fans, but most cross are another level. These guys are another level. They, they love this sport. It's brilliant, it's brilliant. Great atmosphere. The support of British fan is very important for Tommy because he, he loves so much the British fan and it is very important for him to win. There's been a bit of rivalry between me and Hurlings this year, but uh, I think it's good for everyone. I think it's good for the British fans, good for the Dutch fans, you know, because everyone gets behind their rider, and I think that's, I think that's how motorsport should be, you know. It can hit you two ways. You can let that pressure get to you and choke, or you can take all that energy, take all that power, because they're all here for you, and, and make it happen. And, you know, it, it, it's very good with pressure and everything, so hopefully, you know, he can uh, do what he needs to do and send everybody home happy. This can be as fit and as strong as you want it to be, but if this isn't right, if the head isn't right, then the body's going to be useless. The mental strength is the most important part of, of any aspect of fitness. People seem to forget that. You know, fitness is like flexibility, it's strength, it's endurance, it's speed, and most importantly, it's mental. Everybody has to put that dedication in to reach the top. It's day in, day out, seven days a week. I mean, it is odd. There's no other sport like it. You've got Ari Nolte that's got a great amount of, of, of experience and you've got his mechanic Ito and JJ and Gail who own the team. The passion that they all have to try and win this title is, is great and you know they're working great together. He knows exactly what he wants. After the practice we sit together always and we talk about the bike gearing and, and the setup of the bike and I think until now I think we always find a really good solution for every track type and and all that kind of things, and oh no, that's going really well. The gap between Jeffrey and Tommy is 57 points, and we need to win to maybe have a battle for the world title. It is MX2 race one. We know Tommy Searle really wants to win here. They have been in a class of their own, the pair of them. I have no chest protector on or anything, just a, just a vented jersey, so I'm like, this race is going to hurt. 15 second board is up, MX2, 35 minutes plus two laps. Well, they're under Sada's orders now, that's for sure. The bikes run out, the gate dropped. Sarah White, Tommy has got a flyer. Tommy Searle takes the lead. And the crowd are going absolutely ballistic. The man on the Kawasaki, the leader, Tommy Searle clears that quad. Come around that first corner and hear everyone cheering, I was just like, let's go. Oh my word, this is electric. This is what motocross is all about. When I pulled two holies, I was just like, what, he's done it again. He's got it again. Tommy So has got the whole shot. The crowd stand up on the fence and they erupt into a massive frenzy. It was buzzing, you know, it was amazing. I could, I could hear him from way over the hill as soon as I went came out in front and then it just gives you that, you know, like tingling feeling. It was pressure too this weekend to, because I'm like, all right, I've whole shot now. If I get, if I get past, you know, it's, that, that shouldn't happen, you know, if I'm out front, I need a win. We've just got to keep working now for the next few weeks and hopefully we can turn this thing around and hopefully, like I say, a bit of lady luck comes on our side and we can turn this into a positive and and try and win the championship. To actually go out and uh, make it happen and sit here at the end of the day like, you know, I've done it, it's, it's special, especially in front of my home fans.